Okay, we're given this cubic function, y equals x cubed minus 12x plus 2. And we're asked to, using differentiation or using calculus techniques, to determine the coordinates of the turning points. So what we're asked to find is we're asked to find what the coordinate of this point here is, what we might even call it A, and what this point here is, we'll call that B. So using calculus, now, at the turning points, so at turning points, we know that the derivative or the gradient of these functions is equal to zero. So basically it's quite a stock standard question. We're going to differentiate this and to get a gradient function, we're then going to set that equal to zero and then solve for our x coordinates. So to start with, we'll differentiate this. So we're going to go dy dx is going to be equal to, this is going to be equal to 3x squared minus 12. Now the only tricky part of this question really is we have to try and make this equal to zero without using a calculator. So the best thing to do is to do a bit of factorization. So we'll, first of all, we'll factorize it by three. And after we've done that, what we're going to, what you'll hopefully realize is inside the bracket, we've got a difference of perfect squares. So what we can then do is we can rewrite this as like such. We can say x minus two. x plus 2 and we have to make that equal to 0. Okay so what we can then do is we can use what's called the null factor law so you can write by the null factor law which basically states if you've got two numbers which are being multiplied together and they equal zero, at least one of them has to be equal to zero. So we're going to say by the null factor law, like either this has to be equal to zero or this has to be equal to zero. So x will have to equal positive two or x will have to equal negative two. So we have our two x coordinates. Now we just have to figure out what the y coordinates are. So to find the y coordinates, we substitute these two x values into our original cubic function. So we're going to then substitute this in. So we're going to have f of 2 is equal to 2 cubed minus 12 times 2 plus 2. So 2 cubed is 8 minus 12 times 2 which is minus 24 is negative 16 plus 2 is equal to negative 14. So the coordinate point here will be 2, negative 14. So B, in this case, is going to be 2, comma, negative 14. Change colour for the other one. We'll have F of negative 2 is equal to negative 2 cubed minus 12 times negative 2 plus 2. So this is negative 2 cubed is negative 8 minus minus 24 is plus 24 which is going to equal 16 plus 2 is 18. So our A point 
is going to be equal to negative 2, comma, 18. So what we've done there is we've used methods of differentiation to determine that the coordinate points of the turning points, the coordinates of the turning points, sorry, are 2, negative 14 and negative 2, 18.